So there are a lot of people who suffer from eczema and they will tell you that they've tried lots of different emollients like creams, ointments, gels, lots of different steroid creams from hydrocortisone to betavate and nothing really works. Especially in dark skinned people who would argue that a lot of these formulations are actually meant for Caucasians than for dark skin. I mean, we do know that black skin is different from white skin. For example, black skin contains far more melanin than white skin does, larger oil glands, and there is less aging compared to white skin and other differences. So there was a popular cream that was used mainly in the black community called Etin Cream. You could purchase this off Amazon or eBay. But now if you type in Etin Cream into the search option, nothing comes up and that's because it's been banned in the UK. So why was etin cream so popular, especially in the black community? Well, simply because it worked like magic with the effects in within days rather than having to wait weeks. I mean, most people do not look at what creams contain as long as they work, right? Well, let's look at what etin cream contains. So you've got aqua, isopropyl, sunflower seed, cocoa seed butter, sweet almond oil, However, I'm going to skip all this and go straight to it. Towards the end, you can see clotrimazole 0.05% and bitamethasone dipropionate 0.01%. So clotrimazole is also an antifungal agent, usually known as canistin cream, either as 1% or 2% that's used for treating fungal infections. While the bitamethasone dipropionate is a potent steroid that's only meant to be used for short periods such as for one to two weeks, for inflammatory skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis, for instance. Prolonged use of steroids like bitamethasone has the side effects of skin thinning, bruising, hypopigmentation, as well as risk of topical steroid withdrawal syndrome. The problem with etin cream was that there was no leaflet or disclosure of these two agents, namely the clotrimazole and the bitamethasone, in terms of side effects and duration of use, not to mention that bitamethasone is a prescription only medication, while clotrimazone you can get over the counter. So imagine being able to buy a prescription only medication online or over the counter, and bear in mind that a lot of people with eczema and other skin conditions such as psoriasis were using etin cream on a daily basis as a regular moisturizer for long-term periods. So how etin cream got banned in the UK was that the Medicine and Drugs Healthcare Regulation Agency, known as the MHRA, took some samples of the cream, tested it, and found that it contained varying amounts of bitamethasone in different samples of the lotion. Now, parents, consider the dangers of prolonged use in your children, as I mentioned the side effects, skin bruising, thinning, hypopigmentation, especially in dark skinned people, and in some cases, this is irreversible if you do not stop the treatment on time. Funny enough, when I did a search of etin cream online, it is still available in black stores, so let's look at one of them. So we've got this site called Afropride. As you can see, etin skin solution lotion, £11.99. Scroll down, it tells you etin skin solution is the perfect solution for all your skin concerns. It has a unique blend of natural ingredients, that's not true, is it? Because we know that clotrimazole and bitamethasone are not natural skin ingredients. So a unique blend of natural ingredients designed to nourish and hydrate your skin. It's perfect for those who suffer from dry, itchy or irritated skin. Regular use. Again, it's not meant to be for regular use. This lotion can help improve the texture and appearance of your skin, leaving it glowing and healthy. Its natural ingredients and fast absorbing formula makes it perfect for daily use. So I've just stated here that it contains steroids that is not meant to be used daily for a long term period. So if I was hoping that I would get some warnings about what it contains when I scroll down, but no. I was also hoping that it would tell me what it actually contains at the back, as, I, as you can see. As you can see, nothing. So to me, that rings warning signs, you know, red flags like have you ever been to a website where you've seen a cream and it doesn't tell you what it contains? So that for me is dodgy right there because they've just advertised a tin skin cream. They've not told me what it contains. We know from what we've read that it contains a steroid and an antifungal cream. That's not been mentioned on the site. So I said, okay, let me try another website. So I went to Afrobuy, a tin skin solution, 250 ml. Again, just the front of the cream, there's nothing about the back page. There's nothing about the contents of what the cream actually contains. Product description, it says here, that's nothing on the product description. Again, £11.99 is probably the same website as the one 
we've just been to. Again, no information whatsoever about the creep. Again, this rings red flags for me. So if you feel that you've got no other option, you're going to try a tin cream, just consider and remember what it contains. It does contain an antifungal cream. It contains a steroid as well. So while it would help with any fungal infections like ringworm or and due to the steroid, it might help with eczema, psoriasis and any inflammatory skin conditions. Do remember not to use this cream as a daily or regular moisturiser, not for long term use. We're basically using the cream for weeks or months. These are potent substances that can lead to side effects for your skin, which can be long term and irreversible. So speak to the doctor first for advice before using any of these creams.